late show, everybody. Thank you so much down here, up there, all around the empire. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You have tuned in. You've tuned in for a pretty big night because it's Pat Benatar's birthday. Happy birthday, Pat Benatar. You're a real tough cookie with a long history of having birthdays. Hope this is a great one for you. Also, what else is going on? Oh, uh, just a few minutes. I'm going to be sitting right over there interviewing Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. <laughs> Lord. Lord of the Gingers. I was all excited to spend this whole monologue talking about the royal family, but instead I have to talk about something stupid. Because classified documents from Biden's time as VP were discovered in his private office. Come on, Joe! <laughs> classified? Is this just what every president does now, just to scatter a trail of intelligence like Johnny Document Seed? <laughs> Are these classified files everywhere? My God, this is stressing me out. I'm sweating bullets here. <sighs> oh! Why? <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> Here's what happened. Back in November, Biden's lawyers found the government material while closing out an office at a think tank called the Penn Biden Center, named, no doubt, after the close relationship between Biden and gossip girl heartthrob Penn Badgley. <laughs> Details. Details are still coming out. We don't know how the documents ended up there, and it's unclear what they pertain to. But given Biden's age, I assume it's the Spanish-American War <laughs> and the digging of the Panama Canal. <laughs> Republicans heard about this, and this may surprise you, but they said, ah 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 Case in point, the former president who truthed when is the FBI going to raid the many homes of Joe Biden, perhaps even the White House? Wait a minute. He may be onto something. Are you telling me there are classified documents in the White House? <laughs> okay, I can't believe I have to explain this. But while those documents should have been returned earlier, there's no comparison between this and the transparently nefarious behavior of the ex-president hauling box after box of classified material to Mar-a-Lago and tossing them into a mop closet. And then when the National Archives say, hey, where are all those documents? He goes, here's some of them. And they say, are you sure you don't have any more to give us? And he says, I don't know. What I do know that I have is executive privilege. And they go to a judge, and the judge says he has to go look for more of them. And he goes, Bleh! And the FBI goes, here's a subpoena. And he goes, OK, here's 38 more documents. And they say, is this everything? And he says, you bet, looked everywhere. And the Justice Department says, we don't believe you. And he says, well, what are you going to do about it? And the FBI raids Mar-a-Lago and finds hundreds of more documents. And he goes, oh, I knew I had those. I packed them myself. But don't worry, I declassified them with my mind. <laughs> so. Come on. I don't... <laughs> They're not the same, okay? It's a comparing apples to orange man. <laughs> but that obvious difference, that obvious difference did not stop the squeaker of the house, Kevin McCarthy, from saying of Biden's team, they've been around even longer. The former president had never been in office before and had just left, uh, came out. Here's an individual who spent his last 40 years in office. So the ex-president did way worse but is less guilty because he's less qualified to govern. <laughs> That's like a state trooper saying, look, 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 I would give you a ticket for drunk driving, but you're still on your learner's permit, okay? <laughs> Drive home safe and bottoms up. <laughs> drink, mother, drink, mother, drink, mother, drink. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> chug a lug, chug a lug. Speaking of Kevin McCarthy, uh, Kevin McCarthy. Yesterday, he passed new internal House rules that included all of the concessions he made to the Freedom Caucus in exchange for their votes. We've got some of the new rules right here. Sit, down boy, <laughs> stay, and fetch Hunter Biden's laptop. 
But get them, boy. Stick them. Get them. But McCarthy might be hiding a little something extra because reportedly there's also a secret concession addendum that was approved in closed door negotiations with a handshake agreement. Okay. And we all know the best rules are secret. <laughs> Reminds me of the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> One of the hardliners out there twisting McCarthy's gavel is Marjorie Taylor Greene, who celebrated... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who celebrated by dropping this video. Man, those automated iPhone slideshows are getting weird. <laughs> now, you may have noticed, you may have noticed that the music uh, to that little video is Dr. Dre's still DRE. Well, Dre certainly noticed because Dr. Dre sent her a cease and desist letter. <laughs> cease and desist. <laughs> cease and desist. So he's a doctor and a lawyer? How is that guy? <laughs> How is that guy still single? <laughs> this isn't the first time there's been copyright problems between rappers and politicians. Who can forget Bernie Sanders' unauthorized tour as Soup Doggy Dog? <laughs> One percent, two percent, three, four, Snoop Doggy Dog. Dr. Dre is at the door. We would like some chowder, please. Drop a like, it's hot. Where's my soup? <laughs> Speaking of Dr. Dre, Eminem, um, the candy. <laughs> With all the problems in the world, Fox News remains laser focused on the big issue. Eminems have gone woke. <laughs> First of all, no, they haven't. <laughs> Second, if any candy is woke, isn't it the one that tells you to taste the rainbow? <laughs> Here's what they're griping about. Here's what they're grappling out. In honor of International Women's Day, M&M's is releasing its first ever all-female packs featuring M&M's female characters upside down with the slogan, supporting women flipping the status quo. Okay. All right. I guess so. Fine. This is obviously just a ploy to sell more sugar by being socially conscious. It's just like in the 80s when the Kool-Aid man took on the South African government. Apartheid, oh no! <laughs> so, so, where's his Nobel Prize? <laughs> Come on. He's robbed. <laughs> so, I mean, the packaging is dumb but harmless, right? Not according to Fox News host Harris Faulkner. When you look at the package, the women are upside down. And I understand flipped. But thank you very much, we stand on our own. We don't need to be shown on a package looking crazy upside down. <laughs> no, we don't need to look crazy. We need to look sane, you know, complaining about candy packaging on a news network. <laughs> Normal. Ah, uh, come on. Really? Another thing they're upset about over there was this photo of these two female Eminem mascots, okay, holding hands there. Keep in mind, this tweet is from 2015. So naturally, they were complaining about it yesterday. Apparently, there's new lesbian characters. Um, it's a female em empowerment. I just didn't know that when I was eating like an orange right now, is this orange a man or a woman? Easy. It's easy, Pete. The ones with an M, okay, right there, the ones with an M, those right there, those are for men, okay? And the women, the women have a W. Okay? <laughs> Lady Candy. And come on, Pete, we're all adults. We know all candy is gendered, okay? First of all, Snickers. Woman. Milk duds? Milk dudes, okay? 
Three Musketeers, a polyamorous gay thruple. <laughs> Baby Ruth, not sure. The gender reveal started a series of wildfires in California. <laughs> and Candy Corn, you got yourself a bag of clitorises. <laughs> we... We got ourselves a great show tonight. My guest is the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry. Stick around.